Hi everyone, my name is Jeremiah Ems of EmsComputerArt.com. I'm doing a replay in high speed of a painting that I did of a friend who died in 2006 named Victor. He was a saved individual, and so he would be upset if I didn't preach the gospel to you. The Bible says, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But God committeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It is as simple as that. I'm doing a, a simple sketch here based upon a, um, a freehand grid, grid system I drew across in the center and a few tick marks here and there uh, to give me some indication as to uh, how far to the left or to the right certain objects would have to be. Most of the drawings being done freehand. Um, based upon the, the photo, I'm just looking at it and trying to see what um, um, you know shapes I can make and the angles and all of that, the length of the line. Um, the grid is being drawn kind of as I do it. Um, it's not real specific or anything like that. Um, there are other ways to do things that are more accurate, and if I was working for a client, I would have done a more accurate drawing on paper first. Now I'm using um, raw umber very dark shade with just oil. Um, there's no white mixed into it. I'm just controlling the transparency with the oil. A raw umber is a good paint to use for your underpainting because it dries quickly. Uh, it also is a good replacement for black with this particular shade because it's very, very dark. So I'm creating the, the basic uh, tonal contrast, trying to create some form. I'm exaggerating the form actually a bit, um, the darkness of it, because it's going to help me figure out the planes, and I'm going to paint opaquely on top of this, somewhat opaquely, allow some of the, the uh, underpainting to show through. But the entire underpainting will be grisaille, and this is just the first stage of the underpainting. Uh, grisaille just means gray, it's, it's a um, monochromatic application of paint uh, using whatever pigment that you want to use. In this case I'm using umber. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of white in with uh, the umber to finish the underpainting. You don't have to do this but it's a good idea to do it so that you can restore some of the reflectivity. Uh, you don't have to do it if you don't go quite as dark with your um, initial stages, the underpainting. Here I'm able to create form, uh, correct shapes, uh, create um, lighting, I'm using fairly large brush, it's nothing special, it's just a cheap brush, it's actually made for acrylic paint. And since I'm applying the paint in a kind of an acrylic manner, it works pretty well. I'm using quite a bit of oil in my um, mix. I usually do. Uh, it's not dripping wet, but it's it's moist. Uh, there's a chair back there. I eventually take it out. I don't like it very much. doing the eyes right now. I have to spend a lot of time on the eyes later. I'll, I'll use a smaller brush for the eyes. Doing some hair. Smaller brush for the eyes now. In any portrait, the eyes are the most important part if the eyes can be seen because um, they draw the focus and they convey emotion more than anything else. It's 
still working on the underpainting. This is still the Grisaille underpainting. I haven't applied any uh, additional colors. Just raw umber, very dark shade with white where I need it. Most of the grisaille looks like it's done at this point. Now I can start applying a little color. I'm using some Viridian for the chair. Eventually I take it out and just use a, a kind of an abstract background. It's Viridian and white, titanium white. Using little touches of um, raw umber and uh, yellow ochre where I think I need it. Give little flashes of color here and there. Now I'm using a very cool shade of ultramarine that I mixed up myself. Mix that with some of the green to create the shirt. I created three tones for the shirt. It's very simple. I don't usually mix up very specific tones. If they're close, that's fine. I adjust a lot once the paint is in place. But they have to be somewhat close. Now I'm doing some of the hair little bit of yellow ochre in the hair down near the shoulder there it is little bit of green in the hair also near the shoulder pretty soon I'll start to yeah I'm doing the face now I'm doing a um, little yellow ochre with raw umber and titanium white. You can control the cool tone of the flesh with just the raw umber and white and you can control a, um, a warm color with the yellow ochre. This is a particularly warm shade of yellow ochre that I get from Sinopia.com golden yellow ochre. Working a lot on the nose. I made the nose a little bit too long. I didn't give enough room for the mustache, but it's close enough considering the entire painting was done in about five hours worth of work. Like I said, the entire video is about nine hours, but uh, that's with my commentary. And I took my time to paint. I didn't rush it. Um, if I were doing this for a client, I would probably do, you know, a few days for the drawing, a few days for the underpainting, a few days for um, maybe the background and the and the shirt and all of that, you know, the hair. Um, and the face would be the thing that I would focus on the most. Um, trying to get the tones and the, the form exactly correct. The tones will be a little bit different because it's a flash photo and, I, and flash photos don't really look all that good in paintings. So a lot of times we'll artistically change the uh, the um, lighting. Now I'm just pushing the background back a little bit. It's it's it was too um, colorful. It was too bright. Doing little corrections in the face, adding a little more form, a little more flashy color. A little more in the beard. Correcting some parts in the forehead that aren't right and adding a little more detail there, a few more wrinkles and such. Doing some areas around the cheek. This is being done with a, a, a pretty large brush, actually, you know. 
um, doing some of the finer areas with a smaller brush but most of the work was done with a, just one standard size brush this is a square brush if I remember correctly that's kind of a long handle I sign it and we're done we'll show you I'll show you the uh, painting under natural light uh, uh, skylight and then sunlight direct sunlight that's the skylight and then the sunlight I hope you enjoyed the demonstration